Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. This is called Subrov Underwater Discoveries. It looks really interesting. This is the demo. The devs have sent it over to me today. This will be my first look at it. I'm going to share it with you. I'm really excited about this one. It's from SQR3 Lab. I think that's how they pronounce their name. It is a simulation game. And basically, we get to pilot a remotely operated submarine and explore the oceans, take on contracts to chart unknown regions, sample hyperthermal vents and study new species, all while defying the darkness and crushing pressure of the deeps. If that isn't enticing, I don't know what else I can say to you, really. This looks really, really cool. I'm hoping that the graphics I've seen uh, deliver the same level of gameplay because if if they do, this is gonna this is gonna go bang when this releases. This is gonna sell like hotcakes. All right, here we go. Look how cool this looks already. I just love the design, the layout, the style. Everything looks bang on to me right now. I think we're gonna have to go training. Let's go training. Basic controls. Okay, can't do it. Why can't I do training? You are joking. Dive ready. Does that mean we're in that already? Let's have a look here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Settings. Volume, music, sound effects. Resolution. Oh my god. Oh my good god. You see this more and more often these days. I get 60 hertz. I get 59 hertz, but not 60 hertz. Okay. My settings. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Okay, controls. Gameplay. Mm -hmm. These are the controls. Force mouse cursor control. So you can use a joystick. Okay. Help screen is F9. Emergency exit cover is back quote. Okay, I'm just going to jump in. I'm just going to jump in. Certificate, certific, certification one. Wow, that was hard to say. Learn how to operate the research vessel and to deploy, release, and retrieve the ROV. Right, let's do it. I am so excited for this one. Bonjour. I say bonjour because I was trying to do a bit of a Tour de France review earlier, but the game kept crashing, so I'm still in that sort of. Je ne sais quoi. Look at this. I am loving this already. Right, welcome to the ROV certification program. This program will teach you all the skills you need to pilot the ROV. During this dive, bloody hell, that's quick. Let's get started. Circle the camera around the ROV. Keep the mouse's middle button pressed and move the camera with the mouse. What? First, circle the camera around the ROV, like this. <laughs> what? what? Keep the mouse middle button press and move the camera with the mouse. Well, this has started well. I really want to get into this, but I can't figure out the first thing. Oh, God. First, circle the camera around the ROV. You just mean... My mouse is going off on all my different screens, which is not good. This looks so damn good. I can't wait until I know how to do this. First, circle the camera around the ROV. I can't do it because I keep losing my mouse off the screen. That can't be what I'm doing. I don't understand what it wants me to do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just see if G Hub is screwing things up because quite often 
GitHub will cause major problems because it's just crap and it doesn't work with anything properly. Let's unassign that. Right. Let's close that down. Let's try again. Ah, there we go. It was G-Hub all along. Right, now we know. Rotate camera, done. You can focus the camera on the ROV by pressing the X function button on the control panel. Please do that now. Press it again to focus back on the ship. Roger. Now press the AC button under the X focus button to activate the camera's auto centering mode. <coughs> Excuse me, all done. Excellent. Please head to the area marks on the map. Move with WS and rotate with Q and E. Oh, Q and E. Not A and D. That feels immediately foreign to my fingers. Great. Let's bring the map to the main view. Press the M button on the main view group. Uh, you mean this button? Yes, you do. The map screen gives you important information about your surroundings. As you move around, the side scan sonar updates the map with a detailed view of the seabed. You can zoom the map with the mouse wheel. Please zoom the map all the way out and in now good now zoom out to find the new location circled on the map and navigate to it you can swap active cameras at any time using the buttons in the main view group okay so what do we want back to e I do feel like the ship needs to, you know, move like a ship a little bit more. <laughs> Next, we'll review the deployment procedure. Please focus the camera on the ROV and bring it to the main menu. Uh, focus. Um, focus the camera on the ROV. So that's that, yeah? Let's undock the ROV. Press the dock button. Well done, the ROV is now free and ready to be lifted. Press the reel up. That reel up there. That's reel up. Okay, yep, I see now. Let's position the ROV over the water. Press the frame down button. Roger, this one. And then reel down. Here we go. Entering the water. Nice, 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 nice. Let's release the ROV. Powering up. The ROV is all coming on. Refresh the big button under lights. That one. Okay. Please press on any of the ROV camera buttons to activate the camera view. Press the FT up or down buttons. Front. Up. Down so cool if you look at the main view group you'll see that there is a new button active called R this button brings the selected ROV camera to the main view press the R button in the main view group swaps them that's it you can move any camera in the main view up and down side to side give it a go now okay so I've got full control over the camera by pressing the middle mouse button. 
Great, that's enough for now. Let's wrap things up to retrieve the ROV. Press the Release Retreat button. Now dock the ROV back with the ship. Reel the frame in and reel the dock, then cross the border of the map to exit the dive area and complete this tutorial. If you want to repeat this dive, you can access it from the dive log section of your profile. Okay. Alright. There's a few things to remember there, but I think we can do it. It was a very basic... Simplistic tutorial. That's probably a good thing, because I suspect it's going to get more complicated. I mean, look at half the buttons are greyed out at the moment. This is looking rather cool, I've got to say. I like this kind of thing. Oh, you don't have to hold it, you just press it once. Cool. What do I do now? Dock? Hey, who's this dude? <laughs> just enjoying the views, mate. You alright? Anything I can help you with? Looks like he's doing the Macarena now. What's, what's going on? I've got to exit the dive area, haven't I? Three, two, one. Boop, 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 boop. Right, okay. That's enough training. Let's get stuck into a proper mission. Certification one, dive time eight minutes and 53 seconds. It didn't feel like that long. I'm sorry it took me that long. I felt like I was going through that pretty quickly. New dives available. Where, 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 where? ROV basic controls. Is that new? Certification, certification two. The oceans hold about 96.5% of all water on Earth. Surprising, isn't it? This goes to show how much water there is. Welcome again. Let's get started. Please navigate to the area marked on the map. During this dive, control bindings to the buttons on the console will be disabled. Undock, deploy, and release the ROV. I'm excited about this. I really... The, the top of the water bit, not impressing me that much, I'll be honest. More work could be done there. But the underneath the water bit is the bit I'm really excited about. I'm hoping something cool is going to happen in this tutorial. I kind of feel like I should be... There we go. <laughs> Looking at the damn thing. Uh, right. Let's go. Lights on. ROV's online. Before you can fully control the ROV, you'll have to descend further. Descend down to 40 metres and then stop unreeling. Um, Where's my depth then? Oh, I see. Depth, 12 metres, 13, 14, 15, up in the top right-hand corner in case you haven't spotted it. So we got depth, speed, dentures, um, ulterior motives, windy pops, and temperature. Uh, yeah, I don't know what out means. Altitude? That can't be altitude, surely. Right, there we go. Yeah, 58, 63 metres, 67 metres, 70 metres deep. Are we still going? Wow, still going. Stop! Yeah, you have to hit the middle button to stop. 
Well done. Let's switch control to the ROV. Press the control button. Control. Ah, a yeah, new button. You can now control the ROV, but it's still attached to the cage. Let's activate the tether management system and detach the ROV. Press the TMS button. Ten points to whoever spots it first. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha we're loose! The ROV is now moving freely, decoupled from the movement of the ship. The TMS adjusts the, the length of the tether while you move the ROV around. Oh, we're still tethered. Cool. If you don't touch any controls, however, the ROV will drift with the water current. That's cool. Simulation. At that simulation level. To stabilise the ROV in place, please, pray, please press... Blah, blah, blah. Pre oh my god. Please activate the hover function. Hover. Good. Hovering adds stability to the ROV at the cost of speed. Take the ROV as far as you can. Disengage hover to move faster. Move with W, S, A, D. And rotate with Q and E. And ascend with R and F. Alright, let's go. We're heading south. Disengage hover. Now we're moving at some speed. So what does F do? F is dive. The tether is relatively short, but you can make the ship follow the ROV automatically to compensate. This function is called dynamic positioning. Let's activate it now. Press the D pause button. The ship is now following the RAV and will also adjust the length of the main cable so that the cage stays nearby. There's a new objective on the map. Please navigate the RAV until the ship reaches it. Remember if you hover... Oh, I see. I'm the little yellow thing, right? Remember if you're moving slowly you can disengage hover. Yes, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Okay, so we're heading this way, guys. Uh, how do I activate this thing again? How did I activate this thing? I can't blink in remember already. TMS? Over on whilst I'm reading this. There's one last control to review. The VBC or variable buoyancy control. The ROV is neutrally buoyant but you can alter its buoyancy to make it ascend or descend without using the engines. Let's give the VBC a try. Change the buoyancy den of the ROV to 4 and then return it to neutral. Ah, so it's not dentures, it's density. Excellent. This finishes the overview of the ROV controls. It's time to reattach the ROV to the cage. Make sure that hover is on. Check to stabilize the ROV and that D-pause is off. Check. Now select the ROV up camera and bring it to the main menu. Oh, there we go. It's these cameras. Oh, I can see it right, right above me. Was it R? Yes, it is. So we're coming up, you can see here. I press this button, switches the cameras over. Now press the HUD button to turn the HUD on. Center the ROV under the cage and ascend slowly until you hit the base of the cage. I'm liking this very much.
If you're properly centered, the go light next to the TMS button will light up. Indeed. Uh, press the TMS to attach. I'm liking this very much. The ROV is attached to the cage. We're almost done. Please press the control button to return to the ship. Press the control button. Bomb. Then uh, reel. Okay, so we're going up. You see the depth is dropping from 91, 93, 86. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So what, what do you guys think of this game so far? It's really, it's really, it's totally unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I love the style of it all. Uh, now what? Now press the rel rep button to start the retrieval process. Finally, dock the ROV. Gotcha. I'm not going to remember half of these controls. <laughs> Just not. There's too many new terms and new uh, abbreviations for, for my brain to just instantly cope with it. It's been a long session. Don't forget to take a break. You deserve it. Indeed. Indeed. What do I do? Just leave the area. I was really hoping to see like a... Like a blue yeti. Or a giant squid. Or a blue whale. Something. Anything would have done. Okay, that took ten minutes, that one. New dives available. All right, baby. Still training. RA, ROV, sonar and scanner. I like the simulation feel about it. It definitely feels like they're trying to do it Proper, proper. Comatal OS. Greetings, as usual. Please navigate to the marked area on the map. Control shortcuts to the buttons. Okay. Now take the ROV all the way down to the sea floor. Oh, yes. Okay. Undock. Uh, re no, don't release. Um, what am I doing? Real panicking for some reason, don't know why, because I'm excited. Let's go. Extend. Good audio. I think this might be better with the, with the controller. Let's see if I can connect my controller. It's going to cause problems because I won't know how to do anything, but figure it out. Right. On the camera itself, let's go down. Oh. Uh, undock, release, unreal, and wait. Okay, so. Undock. Powering up. Go. 
think I'm doing this right. I'm not entirely sure. 20 meters, 23 meters, 25, 30, 35. Suck down. So cool. All the way down to the sea floor. So something's just going to pop up in here. All of a sudden, let's swap them over so we've got a big screen in the middle. What a fantastic concept this is. What a great idea. Engage the TMS and take the ROV down until it's less than three meters over the sea floor. Okay, engage the TMS. That's this one, right? Okay. I don't know how to do this. Put some lights on. What is that? Oh, what is that? We're at the sea floor. Engage the TMS. What am I doing wrong? So, I'm not releasing for some reason. What about if I turn hover on? I can't turn hover on. I can't release. I can't let go. I've done something wrong here. But wait, I saw help somewhere. Where's help? Move. Send to send. Rotate. Control camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Undock, real, frame down, yes, unreal, rel ret, go light is on to release. Yeah, but I can't do it. Oh, that's a uh, H is the hotkey. Okay. So have I gone down too far? Is that why? I'm nearly where I need to be. I just. Don't seem to. We're going up a little bit. Go up to a hundred meters. <clears throat> I can't seem to release. There's the sea floor. But we're not getting the release button. What am I doing wrong here? Ah. Okay. So I had to press control and then TMS and now I have complete control. Okay, kind of got there. Depth, 140, 141, 142. I don't know what the depth of the... Ah, is that the depth of... Ah, that must be the seabed there. So I'm going to get that, this bit down to three. And then we are officially at the bottom of the sea. Oh my god, people do this for real. Like divers do this deep sea diving stuff. I could never do it. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Excellent. Now turn the sonar on and use a ping to detect points of interest nearby. Sonar. Yeah, what is that? I want to know what that is. OK, 
Okay, there's a little thing in front of me over here. Oh, a starfish. Pink sweeps your surroundings, revealing terrain features and highlighting points of interest. Anything you can scan is briefly highlighted in the external view with an icon. Now please bring the front ROV camera to the main view and turn the HUD on. To scan a point of interest, approach it, frame it, and press the scan button next to the HUD button. Please scan any nearby points of interest. Right, so I'm going to have to go lower, because I don't think I can... Ang oh, I can angle the camera down. What am I talking about? Where's the scan button? There it is. No, not good enough, huh? There we go. Scanned. Any points of interest you identify will be added to the gallery. Got to scan them all. This is all for now. Please bring the ROV back up and exit the dive area to finish the tutorial. Press help button if you need to consult the descent ascent procedure. Yeah. Uh, just one more thing I've got to check out whilst I'm down here, boss. No offence, but this looks pretty big. Is it a tree? I thought it was a ship. But there's something over there as well. Look at this. I'm loving the deep sea audio. wonder how they got that audio. Turn hover off. And nice. Okay, then let's dis uh, let's reconnect. Hover off. Camera up. Hmm. Sonar off, HUD off. Actually, the HUD needs to be on. Uh, CMS. No. So I just have to descend send myself yeah see it I see it I see it oh I hit it I hit it I hit it okay that's gonna come out of my page jack Not that easy, guys. Don't don't start judging me. It's not that easy. The current is quite strong. Okay, TMS off, reattached. Control switched to locked, secured, reeling in. Ooh, it's pretty intense. If you let yourself get into the game, if you like, allow yourself to get immersed, then you're like, you know, this is probably worth, I don't know, a hundred thousand dollars or something, a machine like that, and you just you're banging into it, and so on. Can't be good, right? People get fired for a lot less.
So we are. Any points of interest you identify? Yeah. Okay. So I've just got to got to get the ship back up. And it goes bing. Oh wow! It's because it's moving in the water. I think. It's it's just briefly coming on for like a second. Gotcha. So let's reel her up. This is still the tutorials, you know. I haven't even got, I haven't even started the missions at all yet. I'm trying not to look at the help. I want to try and sort of learn it and remember it myself. Cool. So you don't have to wait until it's fully in position. You can you can go early. And lock. Dock, rather. Alright, it's starting to get in my head. I'm starting to learn it. Little by little. I want to get on and do some missions now. Do something cool. Certification 3. We're good. 13 minutes. New dives available. New discoveries. Lovely. Uh, so let's have a look at the gallery. We've got some coral. Common name is coral. Scientific names not available. Discovered on that date. Time scanned one. What's the other thing? Starfish. That was it. Scientific name. Echinoderm asteroidea. Asteroidea. Interesting. Nice detailed image there, that looks cool. Right, dives. Experiments and platforms. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to trying all of this out. Apologies, that was an important email. Okay, right. Oh, it's night time. Night time. So, you have almost completed the certification course. To qualify, you'll have to locate an experiments platform and transport it between two points. Please proceed to the area marked on the map. Okay. Uh, map. So we're going that way. Okay. Roger McDodger. I knew that was coming. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. It's just my imagination was to see a little bit rougher today. Now navigate to target. Done. Reach the sea floor. Roger. 
though. Focused on here. The dock will reel her up, we'll roll the frame out, and we'll begin the descent. Wonder if it looks any different at night. can't put lights on yet. So. Now I can have lights. Our camera, let's just have the down camera. Let's uh, swap them around. So it's 1,100 metres deep this time. Holy molios. At this rate, it will take a while to reach the bottom. If you're focusing on the ROV, you'll notice that the word TC is highlighted in the objective screen. Oh yeah. TC stands for time compression and allows you to accelerate time up to eight times real time. Change the time compression factor with keypads plus and minus. So we're eight times the normal speed. Cool. What do you reckon? Around about a hundred meters we'll slow it down. About 50. 50 metres seems good. Right, so the camera is shining down. There's absolutely nothing to see. Oh, first glimpse of the ground. Here we are. The platform is located somewhere within the area. Deploy the ROV and use the sonar ping. Watch of that. So, control, TMS, hover. Can't see a damn thing. Look at this. Thinking if we go lower, I can see the sea floor. Maybe that's not a good thing. I don't know. Proper dark down here, though. Proper dark. I can't see a thing. Right, let's get the sonar on. It's pink. really get a good look at where that ping was coming from. If you look on this map here, there's a little blue icon and that's where I'm sort of heading towards. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Yeah, I think I see it. This bit, I think, would definitely be better with the controller. Should I try it with the controller? Oh, so that does ping. Controls that. Controls that. Controls rotation. How do I control depth? It's right in front of me. Carry on. Ah, I can see it. I can see the top of it there, look. And hover off a second. Get a bit more speed. There she is. There it is. Approach the platform and use the HUD scan to identify it. Uh, 
There must be a strong current here because I'm really struggling to move forwards. Now, is there something I'm forgetting, like having the ship move with me? Yeah, look, it's pulling me back. So, how did I make... Oh, that's handy. Auto center. Uh, deposition, was it? Try that and see if it see if the ship comes with me. Yep, the ship is now coming with me. Okay, here we go. We're on the money now. So I was basically pulling pulling against the ship. That's why I couldn't move. Is there a specific side that wants me to scan or I feel like I'm going to hit it. Wrong button. Is that it there? Don't judge me. This is harder than you think it is. Not like driving a car, but its own set of uh, objectives. I'm not sure which bit it wants me to scan, you know. But I'm banging into it, I'm moving it around. Am I close enough now to scan it, do you think? I think I was there. It went blue, didn't it? This is so much harder than you think it is, guys, honestly. Okay, I don't need to be as close as I think I need to. Great, before we get to the platform, let's do a test run of the arm controls. First, turn the arm on. By pressing the arm button. Don't hover on because I'm all over the place here. I'll take the arm at least 90 degrees in any direction. Watch on that boss. Can't see the arm. Now rose the arm back to its original position. How do I know which way the arm is facing? Now close the grip. And finally turn the arm off. This will automatically open the grip. Watch of that. Well done. Now use the arm to grab the handle at the top of the platform and take it to the centre of the area marked on the map. So, turn it on. Rotate it until I see something like an arm, because I haven't seen it yet. Is the arm perhaps below me? Or above me? Oh, there's the arm. I see the arm. <laughs> uh, okay, right, let's rotate. Go forward a bit. And grip. Missed it. Missed it. Okay. Oh, you can rotate the arm like this. 
I, th I thought it was going to rotate around, you know, going around the thing, not... Okay, we understand better now. What we need is an arm camera, perhaps. Oh, that feels good. That feels on the money. Rip. I missed it. Okay, this is tough. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I've lost it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I've got it, I got it, I got it. Woo! Fantastic. Lifting. And I have to take it to the centre of the area marked on the map. Watch that. This is so cool, man. I'm really digging this. I hope you are as well. I think this is fantastic. What a great little game. This is just a demo, by the way. Did I mention that? I don't know if I mentioned that. I got, I'm so excited to play it. This is not the full game. This is just a demo. And uh, I don't know when the release date is. I don't know what the price is going to be. I don't know what the future plans of the game are, but... There's some things I've seen in some of the photos that I haven't seen in the game, in the demo yet. I'm really keen to see them. When it says the centre of the area marked, does it mean the absolute centre? Or just in the circle? Like center. Let's turn hover off for a second. There we go. Now we got some speed. Now we're chugging along. We're really close to the bottom of the water, though. Uh, bottom of the ocean, I mean. Nice. All that's left to do is leave the platform on the sea floor, and then return the ROV to the ship and exit the dive area. Why do I feel like something is going to go wrong? Because they're making it sound so blasé. Like, well, all you've got to do now is you know, drop that at the bottom of the ocean a thousand metres down and come back to the boat. Simple. No problem whatsoever. Right, I think we're about to touch down. Wow, okay. So that touched down rather hard, but I think we're good. Okay, camera up. Start sending. And guys, don't judge me. This is a lot harder than it looks. I think Hover has to be off to do this, doesn't it? Is it in my imagination, we have to turn Hover off to do this. Pretty sure we do. Almost, almost. Oh. Got it. I've 
got it, I got it, I got it. It was TMS. Hand in control over. Lights off, retrieve, and start to reel. So let's turn the lights on. Just in case we see something cool whilst we're down here. See, I've got my little radar over here. Expecting something big and scary to just come out, the, come out of the dark of the ocean. An enormous whale or something. I'd love to see that. That would be so, so cool. Um, oh, hang on. It's going to take a while. 700 meters to go. Love how the light starts coming in as you start getting. There's like layers to the ocean. I think there's something like seven layers to the ocean. And then if you know anything about submarines, there's like a. Oh, I've forgotten the name of it. There's like an area where hot and cold water combine and it creates like a a bubble if you will that sonar can't sort of see its way through it's very layman's terms but if you know about submarines you know exactly what i'm talking about all right lights off we have reconnected to the ship and we are heading home boys and girls Mission successful. We're almost ready to do a proper, proper, proper mission. And that's an hour just for the tutorial. Nice, 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 nice. That's so cool. You can do it wrong and drag it into place that way. I love it. Right, Doc, let's go. Very orange out there. The three dives down tutorial complete we haven't seen anything super super cool yet but i'm telling you there is super cool stuff down there 26 minutes that took mostly because i couldn't figure out the flipping arm new discoveries level up certified pilot search and survey experimental beacons right we got our first job Last year, we deployed experimental beacons at various locations along a canyon. The beacons are linked, allowing us to locate all at once by manually activating the primary beacon. <laughs> Excuse me. We are going to test that. The links still work and reactivate all the beacons in the area. And the dive is ready. But guys, I'm going to be really awkward. And I'm going to say, look, if you want to watch any more of this, please head over to SimUK Ultimate Realism where we will have the next dive ready for you. That way I can upload two videos at the same time and uh, hopefully you guys will be interested. Let me know your thoughts on it so far in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.